returning to my channel, I am pleased to have you back. Coin Lady, with the full support of the US government, the Federal Reserve would issue, back, and control CBC, a publicly issued digital dollar. There are a number of potential uses for this, such as facilitating cross-border transactions, increasing financial inclusion, and providing an alternative to current payment methods, such as instant payment resolution. The possibility of a government-backed digital currency has been considered by over 130 nations. Pilot programs in China, Russia, Saudi Arabia, and India have already begun, and a digital euro pilot might be deployed as soon as 2028. As more and more information regarding digital currencies features becomes public knowledge, the United States continues to lag far behind. Those words, which are officially owned by the US Congress, make it quite apparent that XRP has clearly received approval in America. No, this isn't limited to banking and finance companies. Using XRP for local and international transactions has worldwide support, including from the US Federal Reserve. What does this mean? This change is acknowledged by the US Congress. A number of nations are preparing to launch their central bank digital currencies on the XRP ledger in partnership with Ripple, including China, India, and Brazil. The United States is determined to participate in this change. Not to mention, you probably guessed right, whose company are they collaborating with? I agree with you, Ripple. The United States is following in the footsteps of the BRICS countries, which include South Africa, Brazil, Russia, India, and China, in developing a central bank digital currency for mutual use. Watch this video clip that goes into discussions about CBDCs between the US Federal Reserve and Ripple, dating back to 2015. It shows how the two companies worked together behind the scenes, even though they were publicly at odds with the SEC. This cooperation was a strong sign that Ripple would win the SEC lawsuit. Recall that in 2015, Ripple presented the FedNAB payment system to the Federal. While the Fed didn't explicitly credit Ripple, there are hints that the Fed mentioned a possible partnership with a blockchain company that could facilitate efficient payments with transaction times of just 3 to 5 seconds. Gary Gensler has long pointed up the US Federal Reserve's Fed possible use of Ripple. Before Gensler took office in the middle of the SEC's Ripple case, he had already voiced his belief that the Federal Reserve would incorporate XRP and Ripple into their payment infrastructure for both local and international transactions. Take a look at what has happened recently. Officially joining the FedNet payment system is Riverbank, a prominent Ripple payment partner that uses the RippleNet technology. Here, we will dissect it. No, Riverbank is more than that. It's a payment processor that uses the XCurrent, RippleNet, and XRapid protocols. With Riverbank's inclusion into FedNet, it's clear that XRP-based platforms like XRapid, XCurrent, and RippleNet will play a role, as they both use XRP and its ledger for on-demand liquidity. As a result, XRP will soon be able to meet the FedNet payment system's liquidity requirements for international transactions. It follows that XRP's value will skyrocket as its applications and usage grow. The news is good for your investment in XRP if you are keeping an eye on this. There is more than meets the eye when XRP is accepted into established banking systems. A paradigm shift is taking place in the world of global finance as established financial systems begin to understand the benefits of blockchain technology, such as ripples, in terms of efficiency, speed, and cost-effectiveness. Furthermore, the actions taken by institutions such as Riverbank following Gary Gensler's endorsement are merely the beginning. There will be far-reaching consequences for the financial sector as a whole as more. Institutions learn about and use XRP and related technology. I have some wonderful news to share with my viewers before we go any further. Feel free to participate in my XRP giveaway. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, enable notifications, and share it with your network, that's all there is to it. When we choose our lucky winner, I will make sure all of these conditions are met. Everyone, I hope you succeed. At the 60,000 subscription mark, we will reveal the victor. Returning to the original subject, the value and increasing importance of XRP. We've discussed the United States, the Federal Reserve's enthusiasm for it, 
and the general U.S. trend towards adopting it. The U.S. isn't the only country seeing XRP's promise, though. Countries such as the BRICS nations and the European Union are investigating its potential. If you want to learn more about how XRP is being used in the Digital Euro Project in Europe and the BRICS nations CBDC, you can watch our videos that are specifically dedicated to those topics. Our primary argument is that the United States is interested in XRP for both its potential as a CBDC, discussed in a separate video, and its potential to facilitate efficient cross-border transactions. This covers all types of domestic and international financial operations, not just CBDCs. What does this portend for the future of XRP's value? There will be an effect on XRP's inherent value as its acceptance increases, particularly among big financial actors like the US Federal Reserve. After all, a cryptocurrency's value is heavily dependent on its practicality. There are short-term transactional benefits to using XRP and other digital assets in large-scale financial systems, but there are also long-term benefits in terms of trust and credibility. Digital transactions are quickly becoming the standard, and there is a growing desire for fast, cost-effective cross-border payments. This is changing the global financial environment. Cryptocurrencies, particularly those with demonstrated practicality like XRP, assume a pivotal role. A catalyst that would drive XRP into a league of its own would be the backing of major economies and financial institutions. This is a pivotal moment for enthusiasts and investors. The present endorsements and integrations of XRP point to a bright future for the cryptocurrency. Nevertheless, it is crucial to be educated, consistently track trends, and base decisions on comprehensive research, just like with any investment. Could XRP potentially reach $10,000? A lot of people in the cryptocurrency community have been wondering this, and we'll get to the bottom of it soon. It's worth mentioning that as the crypto environment expands, with digital currencies now present in over 130 countries, XRP is routinely highlighted as a front-runner. Multinational organizations, particularly from North American countries, are showing increased interest in the XRP ledger. In that case, how much could XRP be worth? Everyone is guessing between $10,000 and an unbelievable $35,000 particularly in light of its possible function in the digital currency activities of central banks throughout the world, CBDC. Then what is this all about? With more and more countries considering using XRP as a payment option, it might eventually become a median currency that everyone uses. This argument was driven home by Ville Capital's managing director, a large chunk of the world's wealth would be transferred over the XRP ledger if XRP is officially acknowledged and accepted as this median currency. Even if there is a lot of XRP available, the price could go up to $10,000 to $35,000 due to the high demand. I'd be grateful if you could give my channel a thumbs up and subscribe.